and they were green lighting it and changing the medical doctor to someone who would facilitate and prescribe the, uh, what do they call it, puberty blockers? The puberty blockers and the testosterone. I was taking okay. two medications. So that's 13. Were they, were they the only medical treatments at age 13, just the puberty blockers and the, and what else, the testosterone? Yes. Okay, so you were getting those. Were there any other treat, medical prescriptions or medical treatment? at age 13? Well, after a year or two of being on it, um, my endocrinologist warned me that as a consequence of the lack of estrogen in my body, I would start to experience the atrophy of, um, of certain reproductive organs, namely my vagina. And I was just told that I could just treat it using topical estrogen. Um, and so I did that after about a year and a half of being on testosterone, I think. Um, so I was on three medications during that time. Um, they the added blockers, which I stopped after. because you were destroying estrogen. Yes. I see. Did they tell you their consequences? Obviously, you found out about the estrogen. Were there other consequences to the medications that you were taking that they told you about? Estrogen, testosterone, puberty blocks. Did anybody tell you at that time, age 13, what those things do to you? Yeah. I mean, bef before uh, I went all, on all these, uh, these medications, during the consultations for them, I was... Uh, given consent forms with all the, uh, with some of the potential side effects on them. It wasn't like a comprehensive list though. Most of the complications that I experienced were all on, on all of these treatments. And even to this day, were not listed. And I didn't know that they were a possibility. Well, I mean, but, usually it's a doctor or, or the professional that will go over that with you and tell you yeah. 10 pages of stuff here. And, and she, she did, my endocrinologist did, but it's a lot to expect of an, of it. 13 year old to understand what right. things like potentially permanently losing your ability to have children in the future and what atrophy of your reproductive organs means because at the time I thought like I mean I wasn't sexually active of course I was 13 I didn't even have a boyfriend yet and I wasn't thinking about having kids of my own because I was still growing up myself. I'm the father of six kids, two boys, four girls. Uh, they're all grown up now. My baby is 27 years old. It's my baby. Uh, we had to go through this with everybody, you know, at the respective ages. My, my, I have to admit, uh, I was involved in every aspect of their lives. Uh, and they were all well-adjusted uh, children that are no longer children. But uh, this is terrible what was done to you. It's terrible that people uh, would treat you this way and, and victimize you. I, 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 I'm going over it because uh, it is something that uh, America needs to hear, that you were basically put in this situation where uh, no adult would want to go uh, without some careful consideration, let alone uh, the age you were, 13. 